Mac Voices at CES 2024. From Showstoppers at CES in Las Vegas, I'm Chuck Joyner. Folks, we're at the Mousetrap table talking to Andrew about Mousetrap. After all this time, we still don't seem to have perfected the pointing device that everybody wants. And Mousetrap is, Andrew, is it fair to say it's a bit more of an ergonomic approach to it? Yes, sir, it is. Uh, we really built this mouse around the human body, the hand, the, uh, the arm, the wrist, trying to give it support. And the team is comprised of orthopedic surgeon, uh, a PhD in ergonomics uh, and a wonderful aesthetic designer to bring all those things together into something that's really uh, preventing strain and stress on the hands and on the wrists. Now, in a world that the, the mice seem to get smaller and everything seems to get smaller, this is a little larger. And so the first thing you have to say is, really? But after you demonstrated it, it makes a lot of sense. Sure, it's a great question. You know, we wanted to design this no bigger than a mouse pad, the average mouse pad. And so while it's certainly bigger than most uh, mice, uh, that's one consideration we had. But when you put your hand on it and you feel uh, the pronation and, and you feel um, the support, I think that's where uh, it becomes valuable, and even though it's a little longer. Because uh, it just, uh, with uh, the work from home and all the things people are doing now, at their own desks, it's, it's really helpful to have something that supports all pieces of your of your hand and arm. Now, is there any inspiration from a joystick? Because this, in watching you manipulate it, it seems to be a, a little more joystick-like, and I hope that's not an insult. Not at all. You know, we looked at fighter jets, uh, cars, uh, we looked at even bulldozers, you know, how uh, can you manipulate machinery or, or you know, any kind of... Um, joystick and we ultimately shied away from the traditional joystick that you might see on a gaming device or something because it just didn't have the dexterity and so we actually landed on this uh, sort of knob if you want to call it that um, and that gives you a lot of dexterity to move it in three dimensions um, to manipulate either a, a 3d model or some other graphic design so uh, thanks for the question and how about uh, the click yes the click <laughs> So the click is on either side of the knob, so uh, you can simply squeeze uh, with one hand and do the left click, or squeeze with the right hand and do, or the, right, the thumb and do the, the right click. So it's kind of flexible where and how you do it, but that's uh, where they're placed on either side of the knob. Um, okay, so the, the, the demo reel you have up here on the screen so it's a little more like a plastic finish as opposed to what this looks like, more a leather or vinyl finish. Yes. Uh, options that come with it? Yes. Uh, we wanted to make this, especially designers are demanding, creative, and aesthetically uh, demanding people. And so we created a, a full grain leather version of this as mouse. And we have a foam version. We have one with perforations and even one with fans that blow air. So there's a lot of options of how you want this mouse uh, to be configured. Um, I don't think we'll have a, a hard plastic version, to, to be frank. I think we wanted to steer away from that because it, your hand gets hot and sweaty and it's not very comfortable. So we will have some kind of material covering this mouse to give people the best experience they can have. Okay, the toughest question of all, always, left-handed versions available? Yes, absolutely. In fact, we built this to be ambidextrous in a way that people may not have thought about. I think anyone who's even left-handed or right-handed should be using both hands to reduce the stress on one hand. I mean, eight hours a day designing things, it takes a toll. And so we want to actually have people using both at the same time, almost like some designers do with the kind of space mouse type thing and, and, and you know, a pointer and a clicker and then a, uh, a 3D modeling thing. So we actually built this to be uh, ambidextrous. That's great because I know from personal experience, you know, sometimes one hand gets tired. You learn to need to learn to use both hands, whatever you're using, trackpad, mouse, trackball, uh, mice just to make sure that you can switch off and so if you th this is built to do just that it absolutely is and you know frankly we would love to have people with both hands um, and learning if they haven't used their left hand if they're right-handed or, or right hand if they're left-handed just to get comfortable with that because you can do it and it can help just even even for a few minutes you don't have to do the most complicated dexter dexter dexterous things that you, well, I don't know if that's a word but you don't have to do the most, uh, use the most dexterity with one hand or the other, but at least you could give yourself some stress relief uh, that way. Um, price and availability. Sure. Uh, so the price is four ninety nine. 
Um, that's for each mouse. Mm -hmm. And it should be available before the end of Q1. Um, and we'll have it you know, everywhere we can, but the website mousetrap.co is where uh, people can find it. Okay. Andrew, thanks so much for the time. Very, very interesting product. I, I hope maybe this is where the pointing device ends. Well, thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate you uh, interviewing me today. Have a good one. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Folks, we'll have more from Showstoppers at CES in Las Vegas. I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices. Visit macvoices.com for show notes and to connect with Chuck on social media. Get involved in our Facebook group or like our Facebook page and get more out of your Apple tech with Mac Voices Magazine, free on Flipboard and on the web. And if you find value in it all, consider supporting us through either our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash macvoices or by making a one-time donation via the PayPal link on our front page and in the show notes of each episode. You will join these fine people who help bring you Mac Voices. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.